That show was 1,000% Elvis. It's got the girls, it's got him playing guitar. I look back now. His life was so big. He didn't know how people were going to feel about it. He was extremely nervous that night. We didn't know where it was going to go, period. He was sitting there, and he asked everybody in the room to leave so he could just be with me one-on-one. -on -one. I said, what's, what's the problem? The problem is, I changed my mind. I don't want to do this. I said, Elvis, I've never asked you to do anything that you don't want to do. Mr. Elvis Presley. But you've got to go out there. It was the old story. You could take the boy out of Memphis. You really couldn't take Memphis out of the boy. <laughs> so they look around and go, well, what are we going to do now? Elvis is going on stage, you know? Thank God. You don't have to say you're lonely and uh, ready to recover your life. When he goes out to Vegas, he's really making decisions that are a little more for Elvis than what came before. This is the nitty gritty time as far as uh, being nervous, you know, opening up. <laughs> He's wanting to play with the band. Mm -hmm. He's wanting to go through a deep catalog, you know, big parts of which remind him of his own youth. The 68 special was more a controlled environment. It was for television. But in Vegas, to actually see him walk out there and own that stage, it was like, oh my gosh, I get it. I get it. Put me down, step on my face, stand on my name all over the place. Do anything that you want to do, but I'm a honey layer. He had become a thing. He was no longer Elvis Presley. He was Elvis.